Welcome to Das Geek. Today we're doing an open source spotlight and we're going to show you something you're absolutely going to love. For those who may have come from a different generation like my generation, this may look a little familiar to some of the things we used to use when the internet was first on the rise and picking up steam. In fact, this, what I'm going to show you, it goes all the way back to the 80s as one of the first kind of chat rooms out there. What I'm talking about is IRC. So IRC is something if you're in a Linux community you may already be familiar with because a lot of support is out there for Linux on the IRC chat relays and essentially IRC is just a think about like the AOL chat rooms back in the day minus all of the little kids in there and minus all of the crazy sounds and dings and graphics and all of that and just imagine seeing somebody's name which can be anonymous and conspicuous uh, just a made up username no profile pictures none of that fancy stuff and individuals answering questions or having discussions and that's what IRC chat is it's a really cool place to not only show off your technical skills but get help when you need something or to discuss games interact with guilds if you're into MMOs or those type of games where you need more interaction with your 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 teams it's just a really cool place to be uh, especially if you're a geek this is where you need to go this is kind of the um, secret underground of geeks if you will that a lot of people don't know about don't talk about or don't use and the way the best way at least in my opinion to get to that secret underground geek club is through a program called hex chat so I will have the links down below but this is there's a lot of by the way links out there to get you to download hex chat off of other sites that have all kinds of ads pop-ups uh, and things that just seemed a little bit suspicious to me and my web root antivirus software was going nuts on some of these but this one is the place I went to that I found the safe download that everybody's uh, that everybody that my antivirus software has trusted and uh, felt the download was safe and I've installed this on several different machines and never had an issue so hex chat is where you want to go uh, so we're gonna go ahead and download that file it's not a big file as you can see this is a very very simple platform and we're just gonna say yes we want to install it on our hard drive and you're gonna see how simple this is I accept the agreement where we're gonna install it so you can add some items here like the spelling dictionaries if you want uh, you can add some of the plugins Winamp etc I'm going to keep it pretty basic here uh, and just click next any additional task portable mode I'm not gonna be doing anything along those lines so don't need that and let this download and finish installing and then we're gonna have this massive amount of options here in order for us to find where we want to chat there are tons hundreds thousands of channels out there that you can connect to for all kinds of different subjects and one of the best ways is to either go to this site here which will tell you the channels and you could search by a topic like Linux like I've done here and you could see what the channels are that are touching on those you can see you've got every type of Linux versioning you've got system admins you've got kernel experts you have uh, individuals who do SQL who do every type of programming code and you can go in there hang out see what the geeks are talking about learn some of the lingo and maybe even help some users that are having problems and get your name out there um, but before that you're gonna see this list here and it's gonna look a little confusing but don't let it bother you you basically have networks that you connect to and then you have channels within those networks one of the most popular networks is Freenode um, so that's gonna be one of the first ones you wanna look for here and you can explore the other ones but uh, for your first time stick with Freenode and go and look through some of those channels there now here you've got a nickname a second choice a third choice and your username so you can put whatever you want here but you want things a little different so Das Geek is fine for the first one Das Geek channel 
uh, maybe dash channel in case that one's taken and essentially what that's doing is if somebody else is using my name when I'm in that chat it will go my second choice to my third choice and then um, it will probably give me an error though I've never had that happen if all of them are used um, so then we're gonna select free note here and we're gonna click connect um, now you can select show favorites only so if I want to favorite free note I can just click favorite here you can do add additional networks that are out there uh, I will caution you that there is the uh, capability for you know some darker things on the web to happen here uh, in this type of chat um, you know there are adult sites adult content that type of thing uh, I would be very leery of clicking links and doing that type of stuff in, in IRC chat very often so I would avoid that for me this is about technical support this is about finding a place to hang out with geeks but as always there's always your underground folks and that's why I stick to Freenode because it's really got a lot of up and up channels and as long as you're searching for the right thing you're not going to stumble upon anything uh, that you wouldn't want to but that stuff is there just wanted to warn you so uh, the next thing it's going to ask us is what channel we want to join well if you're new you're not going to know what channel to join maybe you you went and you searched on one of those web pages and you decided you wanted to go to Arch Linux or you wanted to go to one of those and you could type that in here if you already know but if you don't no problem you can just click the open the channel list window and we can select what channel now remember we're on the free node network so it's only going to show me the channels for free node and there's a lot of channels as you can see we've got 8,700 and growing uh, channels popping up and almost 357,000 users you can see this is a pretty popular product although it was way more popular back in the day in the 80s and 90s now it's one of those secret unknowns that only the geekiest of geeks know so a really cool place uh, to uh, go and hang out so let's uh let's find something Linux related so I'm gonna go in here and type in Linux and then I'm gonna click search and we've got a bunch of choices here and you can sort by users up at the top so of course the Linux channel by itself is the biggest so I'm gonna click join channel and you can see here that we've got all of our users on the right hand side and then you have your chat here in the middle and individuals are already asking uh, questions we're talking to each other in the discussions here if you go up to uh, your server section you can click a list of channels if you want to go back and say you know I don't really want to be there I actually uh, and that will pop this up I actually want to do the arch Linux here and you can join that channel as well now notice I'm in both channels at the same time so you can have because chat tends to be slow in here it's not as fast-paced as um, you know maybe a big social media site or something where you're getting updates on Twitter every time you refresh you've got more it, this people ask questions there's a lot of legitimate conversation in here uh, someone may ask a question and other people who are working or multitasking will come back in a few minutes and see the question and answer it so you've got to be patient this isn't something that you're gonna be it's not like a race where it's gonna be real exciting at first you've got to get into the environment you have gotta ask questions you have gotta interact with people but Linux and some of the more popular uh, channels do at least have a regular um, amount of messages coming back and forth and so now I'm in Arch Linux too. nobody's talking in here yet but we could see the users over here that are active in the channel um, if you want to you could pop out your channels too because this is a great thing to have up while you're working programming if you're doing a programming language you can have it up um, in the corner and you could right click here and just do detach and that's gonna create a window just for that channel Linux that I had so I can move that into the corner and I could detach this too and have it up so maybe on my other screen while I'm doing some programming if I run across something I can just flip over and answer the question and whatnot this is a really cool place to go and explore and have fun and it's something I bet most of your friends unless you're a geek like me aren't doing and uh, get in there talk to some people make some friends learn the secret about the secret club of geeks out there on IRC chat I think it's really cool it's relevant it's gonna come back in a bigger way as all the social media gets inundated with FBI government security issues all of this 
IRC is going to be one of those secret hideouts that more and more people are going to be flocking to. So until next time, get in there, download Hex Chat, enjoy yourself, leave your comments below. If you use another IRC client to connect to the different channels, I'd love to hear about it. Until next time. <laughs>